So, Pinoso have introduced a brand new version of Wilson, their famous T-Rex replica. How does it compare to the original? How good is it? These are good questions. Stick around, we'll answer them. Hi, Everything Dinosaur here, and today we're going to take a look at this guy the brand new 2020 Pinoso Wilson Tyrannosaurus Rex model. So, without any further ado, let's jump straight in. Don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification button to be part of the conversation. This is a beautifully crafted figure of an adult Tyrannosaurus Rex. It is essentially the same sculpt and PVC model as version 1 from Pinoso. It retains the beautiful detailing, such as the finely crafted individual scales and the cleverly designed skin folds, which are most prominent on the flanks of the model and along the back of the neck. Wilson the T-Rex has a skillfully constructed skull, complete with an articulated jaw. We commend the detail on this model. For example, there are prominent bony crests over the eyes which would probably have had multiple functions when the animal was alive. These bony protrusions probably helped to express the animal's maturity and fitness for breeding, supporting visual communication between it and other tyrannosaurs. The crests would have offered some protection for the eyes during any intraspecific combat. That's fighting with other members of its own species. And indeed, if we set aside the debate over whether this animal was a hunter or a scavenger for a moment, those crests would have protected the eyes when T-Rex lunged at its prey. For the record, we at Everything Dinosaur tend to side with those paleontologists who believe that T-Rex was a predator, that it was an active hunter. Although, having said that, like most hypercarnivores today, T-Rex would probably have attempted to chase off other predators from the kills. Predators such as the contemporaneous Dakota Raptor, a supersized Dromaeosaurid. And it probably would not have turned down a free lunch if it happened to sniff out a carcass with its super powerful sense of smell. One further point about those bony crests over the eyes. They would have helped to protect the eyes from direct sunlight just like you might wear a cap on a bright sunny day, for exactly the same reasons. These bony crests would have helped T-Rex to see better in bright conditions, and this supports the theory that this animal was diurnal, active during the day. It was a daylight hunter. This beautifully sculpted figure measures approximately 37 centimeters long, from the tip of its robust snout to the end of its tail, and that superbly detailed head stands around 15 centimeters high. This model is an approximately 1 to 35 scale. However, unlike the first version of Wilson from PNSO, the 1 to 35 scale is not declared on the box and there is no reference to the scale provided in the product leaflet. At Everything Dinosaur, we know how important model scaling is to some collectors. So we've retained the 1 to 35 statement in our product description. In addition, we've also put the information in the size measurements found on the model's product page. The packaging of Wilson has changed. The new version has beautiful artwork on the front cover, something that you would expect from Chao Chiang, a fantastic and world-renowned paleo artist who is one of the co-founders of PNSO. With the original Wilson T-Rex figure, there was a substantial book in the box to accompany the model. The book was written by the other co-founder of PNSO, Young Young. There was also a set of four scientific art postcards created by Chao Chung. So in version one, you had the model, its display base, and a large book with postcards. And this made the box too big and too heavy for Wilson to be sent out by conventional international mail. Whilst we recognise the book publishing business is very important to PNSO, Everything Dinosaur was able to successfully lobby them and get them to change the way that Wilson the T-Rex was packaged. 
The box contains the freestanding model, just the model of the T-Rex, which means the packaging is much smaller and lighter. So everything Dinosaur's customers don't have to pay so much on postage when we send this fantastic model to them all over the world. The model is supplied with a small booklet written in Chinese and English. It includes scientific illustrations by Chung Chung and a scale drawing. In addition, there is a short story about Wilson, which we suspect was authored by Young Young. Like most PNSO booklets, it's a little light on scientific information. But not to worry, customers who purchase from Everything Dinosaur will also receive our T-Rex fact sheet. The new for 2020 PNSO Wilson is virtually the same sculpt as the original version, although with a very different paint scheme. Having said this, there are some very slight changes in the figure. For example, the position of the hind limbs and feet have been subtly altered to permit the 2020 Wilson to be freestanding. This new replica is perfectly stable and it will stand up on a hard surface, such as a tabletop or on a shelf in a display cabinet. However, the new for 2020 PNSO Wilson T-Rex figure does not stand up on a more forgiving surface. For example, the model fails Everything Dinosaur's carpet test. If you were to try to stand this figure up on a carpet, then it will, in all likelihood, topple over. Collectors who already have the original PNSO Wilson can use the base that came with this model to display their new for 2020 version, although the hind feet will have to be drilled. Fortunately, PNSO have provided helpful guidelines on the feet should you wish to attempt this. We do urge caution and suggest you accurately check the alignment. Once the feet have been drilled, all that is required is for the T-Rex feet to be carefully lined up with the pegs in the footprints on the display base. The paint scheme on the new figure is more simplified than on the original, although we have to say it is still very striking and the artists at PNSO have shown a great deal of care and attention to detail. The eyes are different. In the new for 2020 figure, the sclera is a muted yellow colour, whereas in the original model, the sclera was vivid orange, giving Wilson version 1 evil eyes. When shown side by side, we think the new version certainly holds its own when compared to the original Wilson figure. When you take into account the fact that the earlier model is standing on a base, you can see that these figures are the same size, and they do make an attractive display. Perhaps one could represent the male, and the other one a female. As the models revolve on everything dinosaurs turntable, you can see for yourself how stable the 2020 figure is. So there you have it, a quick review of the new for 2020 PNSO Wilson Tyrannosaurus Rex model and a comparison with the earlier Wilson incarnation. Which brings us to this. Our question of the day. Of the two PNSO Wilson T-Rex dinosaur models, which one do you prefer? We'd love to hear from you. Please leave us a comment. The new Wilson T-Rex Dinosaur model from PNSO is available to purchase at Everything Dinosaur. We'll leave a link in the video description below as to where you can find this model and all the other figures in the extensive PNSO prehistoric animal model range. And on that note, I'll say I hope you've enjoyed watching this short video. We wish you every success with your dinosaur model collection. Oh, and finally, thank you.